Well, the, the most important thing to know about clinical trials is that it doesn't mean that you're going to be a guinea pig, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to get treatment. And in my case, with melanoma, there's no standard form of treatment. And they have found that chemo on its own does not attack melanoma cancer cells. So the best advice that I got from talking to different doctors was to find an aggressive clinical trial and to go for it. And I quickly learned that I wasn't going to be a guinea pig and that I was going to get treatment because when you are a cancer patient, they want you to survive. They want to make you better. So I was given drugs that were FDA approved, and as I like to say, it's all about the cocktail. It was the way they were giving it to me, the dosage, the timing, all of that. That's what made up the clinical trial. So I think it's really important for people to understand that clinical trial doesn't mean that you're not going to get treated. And I think that is a huge misconception about a clinical trial. I d chose, and this was advice that was given to me by my mom, who is also a cancer survivor, that during the time that I was going through all of this, not to discuss it with my business um, people, my clients, um, that, that kind of situation, to kind of keep it just amongst my friends and therefore not put anybody at risk of thinking that I would not be able to do my job. I took phone calls from the treatment rooms, from my hospital bed. I mean, I didn't let on for a long time. And because physically I didn't have that typical cancer patient look, I was able to really keep it my own business. And therefore, I feel my business was not affected. When I was actually first diagnosed, the oncologist that I was using at the time told my parents right after surgery that it was confirmed that it was stage four melanoma and that the expectancy was three to six months. And my mother turned to him and said, you don't know our family, we're gonna beat this. I don't want you to tell Wendy. And he said, okay. He goes, we're gonna get more test results and we're gonna find out what we can do. You know, if they say this treatment has a 30% success rate, my attitude was, I'll be in that 30%. And you have to realize that those percentages are based on the widest scope of patients, from people who could be 10 years old to 75 years old, and could have all other different types of factors that lead into whether and why or why, or why not they survived. So when you're diagnosed and you're given something like stage four, three to six months to live, that's based on just such a generality. And you need to learn so much more before you decide to go sit in the corner and cry and say, my life is over. My name is Wendy Zox, and I am a two and a half year melanoma survivor.